This screencast will demonstrate how SOLAS can accelerate Oracle Golden Gate data distribution over the WAN. This screencast is the second screencast in a group looking at Oracle Golden Gate integration. The previous screencast showed how using SOLAS with Oracle Golden Gate can allow you to enable real-time data distribution to applications while simplifying existing Oracle Golden Gate installations. This screencast will specifically look at how SOLAS message routers can accelerate Golden Gate WAN distribution. It will do this by demonstrating trail file to trail file performance of standard Golden Gate and Golden Gate over Solus. And as mentioned, this screencast complements the demonstrations you can see in the screencast titled How Can Solus Improve Oracle Golden Gate? Let's start by looking at some of the WAN performance optimization features of the Solus message router. First, you get built in streaming GZIP compression in hardware, which offloads the source and target systems. Next, you get per-connection control over TCP parameters in a manner similar to the dedicated WAN optimization appliances. And finally, by allowing the Solus message routers to handle the WAN replication, both the source Golden Gate Java UE and target Golden Gate JMS Capture are able to operate optimally by dealing only with their local Solus message routers. This enables faster per-record processing in the system. Before determining if Solus can help improve your Golden Gate performance, it's important to understand the performance characteristics of your existing Golden Gate architecture. Under ideal conditions, the system will have sufficient capacity such that the database operations flow from the source to target without significant delay. However, often the WAN component of the system can lead to message accumulation and delay in the source trail file. If that is the case, then using Solus with Golden Gate can improve the performance of your system. This slide shows performance metrics outlining how much performance gain can be expected if an existing Golden Gate architecture is being limited by WAN distribution. In the Solus versus Golden Gate column, you can see the amount of performance gain available when using Solus for WAN distribution. You can see that the Solus solution will often be around 10 times faster than standard Golden Gate. These graphs compare records per second as processed by Golden Gate with and without Solus. Additionally, for these tests, the average Golden Gate operation was 1 kilobyte in size and achieved a compression rate of 75%. There was also, on average, 10 operations per transaction. These metrics represent a fairly normal real-world replication scenario. Let me now demonstrate this performance improvement using the 100 millisecond round-trip time WAN link with no loss. From the table, the expected performance improvement from using Solus is a factor of a little above 7. First, we'll look at the trail file to trail file replication of standard Golden Gate. The trail file group used will be 3 gigabytes in total size, with 3 million records. These records will have an average size of 1 kilobyte and a compression rate of 75%. And, given the round trip time of 100 milliseconds, the data pump will be expected to achieve around 2,000 records per second, giving you an effective transfer time of around 25 minutes for the data. So let's now see this. Okay, let's start off by just validating a little bit of the environment. The environment is all pre-configured to show this performance testing. So if we ping from this host, the source host, to the destination host, we can validate that there is in fact a round trip time of 100 milliseconds. And you can see that's consistent. That is our WAN network emulation that is providing the 100 millisecond round trip time. At the source, we will transfer these trail files from 17 to 49 for a total of 3 gigs and 3 million records. And you can see on the destination side that there are just a few trail files left over from setup, and we will then transfer all of these trail files over to this destination host. So I pre-configured the data pump. It has very simple parameters and it's going to write the remote trail file when it's on the destination host and print statistics every 5,000 records. So now if we alter the record to the beginning of this series of data, we can do that and simply have to start up the data pump. And we can see that the data pump is now running and we can see that on the destination side, as you can see here, versus here, the remote trail file is growing. Data is transmitting. So now if we look at the statistics, we can see here the statistics are starting to be printed to the screen. 
and the data pump is able to send the records across to the remote destination trail file at the expected rate of 2,000 records per second. So now I'm going to let this run for a period of time and then we will rejoin the test and we can see the, the average rate achieved over the duration of a five minute run. All right, let's rejoin the test now. Uh, five minutes has passed and if we look at the report we can see that data transfer started here, 1156. And if we look now, five minutes has gone by and you can see that the effective rate has stayed right around 2K, so 2060 records per second. So that is the rate achieved with the standard Golden Gate data pump. And if we look at the destination, we can see that the trail files have arrived at the destination. And there are more trail files now than before. Now let's look at trail file to trail file replication when Golden Gate is used with Solus. The trail file group and WAN will be the same as in the data pump scenario. So given the WAN acceleration provided by the Solus message routers, the system will be expected to achieve nearly 17,000 records per second. This will bring the total transfer time down from 25 minutes for standard Golden Gate to a little over 3 minutes. This also gives you a speed up of 8 times versus standard Golden Gate. So let's now look at the Golden Gate over Solus transfer. At the destination, again, we will have the trail files written into the Golden Gate JMS directory, and these will be written by the Capture or VAM module. And I have pre-configured the JMS VAM with the same configuration seen in the earlier demonstrations. So I will just start up the JMS VAM. With the VAM started, we can then return to Solus, and we can see that at the destination Solus appliance, the VAM is now bound to this queue, queue capture, and this is where all the messages will arrive. I have bridged the two queues together, and I'll show that in a second so that messages can flow from the source to the destination Solus appliance. For interest, let's also plot messages as they come into the Source appliance. They will then get replicated across the WAN and then we'll plot the messages as they are delivered to the JMS capture module. So this will give us a view of the Java user exit sending messages into the source Solus appliance and the JMS capture module receiving messages from the Solus JMS and writing these to the destination trail file. So we'll start that capture there. And now, if you start the Java user exit, first let's reposition the Java user exit to the first file in the series of files. This is the 3 million records uh, that we just showed you with the data pump. And if we start the Java user exit, we will start up. And right away, messages will be flowing. So if we look at the JMS VAM, we can see that the JMS VAM is already starting to receive messages and as the messages arrive the overall average rate will settle in on the actual effective rate that is received and you can see that the plots are starting to show first in red the messages being sent into the system and in blue the messages being received at the destination Solus appliance and processed by the JMS capture. And you can actually see a nice property of the Solus appliances that is acting as a shock absorber or a buffer between the sending and receiving applications. The sender starts up and he sends at the rate that he wants, the Java user exit, and you'll see slight variations as he moves from trail file to trail file, but in general he's able to send at the message rate that the Java user exit wants to send. Solus buffers these messages and replicates them across the WAN to the destination appliance, and then you can see that the JMS capture reads the messages at the rate that it's capable of, pausing sometimes as different trail files are snapped off. And while that happens, then the message rate dips. So the two function independently at their respective maximum rates for this data transfer. So now let's look at a few statistics while this transfer is ongoing. We can see that messages are now accumulating for the JMS VAM. We can see at the source Solus appliance messages are accumulating for transfer across the WAN in the queue slash bridge. And if we look at the bridge client, we can see that the bridge client is connected here. And the Solus appliance actually has a variety of really detailed statistics that helps you understand how your 
a WAN link is performing. For example, right at the summary, you can see the number of out-of-order messages, fast retransmits, and timed retransmits that you'll be seeing in the TCP connection. This would be indicative of lossiness in the WAN link. In this scenario, we're showing a lossless link, so it's expected that these be empty. If you double-click this, you can get further properties about the connection. And this is where you can actually see right down to the round trip time being observed. So you can see here that the source appliance between the two appliances is reporting the same 100 millisecond round trip delay due to the WAN that is being simulated. And if we just take a look at the destination appliance, you can see here just a few properties of the source bridge as configured. So the bridge is connecting to the source appliance using the compressed port compression is enabled on this bridge and the solar source solar appliance is using the hardware acceleration to compress the messages, send them across the WAN link and the destination solar appliance is then decompressing the messages. And you can see in contrast to the to the data pump, the transfer is already done in a matter of three minutes or less. So now let's return to the FAM and look at some of the statistics. So you can see across the 3 million records that were transmitted from source to destination, the average records per second was just about 17,000 records per second, or 16.7k records per second. And that gives you the expected speed up factor versus standard Golden Gate. Having seen both demonstrations, let's just summarize what was shown. Given a WAN with a round trip time of 100 milliseconds and no loss, the goal was to transfer trail files totaling 3 gigabytes and 3 million records across the WAN to the destination site. For standard Golden Gate, the rate observed was 2,000 records per second, giving a total transfer time of around 25 minutes. For Oracle over Solus, the rate observed was 16,750 records per second, with a total transfer time of 3 minutes, giving you a speed up of over 8 times. So to recap, as outlined in this group of screencasts, using Solus with Golden Gate to enable real-time event distribution for applications can unlock a variety of very compelling new ways to consume the data streams. And in addition, the system will support end-to-end -end replication with improved architectural simplicity and higher WAN replication performance. Thank you for watching this video. You can find out more information about Solus messaging products through this link.